Hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just observing a star during the day and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How do you observe sunspots? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a box, pair of binoculars, and a white sheet of paper. Okay, so you say you want to be a solar astronomer, but you don't want to look at the sun because you don't want to set your retinas on fire? <laughs> well, well, you're in luck, because I am going to show you how to be a solar astronomer right at home. You're going to need a, <laughs> a pair of scissors, you know, to cut the box. Like, like this. Oh, you're wondering why I'm looking through the binoculars? You really should be wondering why I'm looking through the binoculars with a cat still on. <laughs> okay, you're gonna get yourself a pair of binoculars. You're gonna remove the caps from one side and you're gonna leave the caps on the other side. Oh, oh, oh yeah, by the way, listen, hey, listen. We're gonna be using these to observe the sun. Do not use the binoculars to look directly at the sun. Head outside on a sunny day, <laughs> and you're going to bring with you your solar observation box. Place your binoculars on the flap, and use the flap to help you aim the binoculars at the sun. Whoa, now check that out. You can see an image of the sun in the bottom of the box. And if you look closely, that little spot right there is a sunspot. So, what are sunspots? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look. At this. The sun is a massive ball of 6,000 degrees Celsius glowing gases about 150 million kilometers away from Earth. Like other stars, the sun is made up of an extreme magnetic field as well as hydrogen and helium with a few other gases such as neon and oxygen. Oftentimes, the sun's magnetic field causes areas of the sun to appear black because they are cooler than the surrounding surface of the sun. These areas are known as sunspots. And even though they appear darker black, these spots are still extremely bright. As gases flow just under the surface of the sun, it forces the magnetic field and the surface together, creating higher magnetic concentrations, forming these sunspots. The sun is so huge, it would take 109 Earth to equal its diameter. So now you know more about solar astronomy. You know, being able to observe the sun without damaging your eyes is why science is so cool.